Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can create these kind of videos using rigid body physics and cell fracture in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way if you like short 3D simulation videos you can check out my second channel link in the description. So now without any further ado let's start today's video. So here you can see I am using Blender 3.2, nice. So first of all let's select everything in this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So now let me import a model here. So here I will be using Blender Kit to get the models. So Blender Kit is free to download just such in as Blender Kit download in Google you will get that. After that install that one. So after that come to these options here, here we will get that Blender Kit and in this such option let's such as cat and hit enter. So we'll get the cat models here. So here I will be selecting this cat statue. So let me select the model, press S and increase the scaling. Here you can see we got that. Let me close this one now. So now let's break this cat model into small pieces. So for that we'll be using cell fracture add-on that comes with Blender itself. So if you're not enabled that cell fracture add-on, go to this edit, preferences, come to this add-ons and look for cell. So by default this will be unchecked, enable it, save the preferences and close so after that you can select the model which you want to break into pieces so let me select the cat model here so after that come to this object quick effects and select this cell fracture so here we got the controls or we got the properties of cell fracture add-on so here source limit indicates the number of pieces so here i will reduce this to 25 and let me increase the noise to one and here i want all the pieces to be in a collection so here i will add a name just simply add a name so a collection will be created and hit ok so here you can see we got our cat model into pieces and all the pieces are in this collection so let me hide this out so let me select the main model and let me hide it out for time being okay so now let me select any of the piece here come to this physics property add rigid body so type let it be active so now if I play this you can see the piece is falling down. So now let's add this property to rest of the pieces. So first select the piece where we have applied the rigid body property first and let us press B box select everything come to this object rigid body and select this copy from active. So now if I play this complete statue or complete model is falling down. Okay. So now let's create an obstacle to avoid these pieces to fall down into infinity. So go to this add mesh select plane here press S and increase the scaling and make sure this is not getting or passing through the model. So let me place it here a bit. So now we need to add rigid body property for this plane also. So select the plane come to this physics property add rigid body. So type here we need to set as passive. So now if I play this you can see the pieces are getting interacted with this plane okay nice so now here we don't want our pieces to fall down without any impact so let me select any of the piece first scroll down come to this dynamics here we need to enable this deactivation and drop down and start this or enable this start deactivation okay so again we need to copy this property to rest of the pieces so let me hide out this plane press b box select everything go to this object rigid body copy from active so now if i play this you can see the pieces are not falling apart okay so now let's bring back the plane so now let's import a hammer model so this model i got from sketchfab download link in the description if you want to use the same so go to this file import it is an object file come to this obj and let me select this model here and import so here you can see we got that model so let me rotate this here so let it be here like this press 7 for top view and okay and let me place this model above and also let me rotate this yeah so press 7 once again and hold control key to rotate while rotating and now let me place this i think this much of distance is fine so press from front view so i think this much of distance is fine so that it gets contact or it makes an impact onto this model so now let's add rigid body property onto this hammer so select the object 
come to this physics property add rigid body and type let it be active so now if i play this you can see we are getting that impact so here i don't want this hammer to fall down freely so let's add an hinge here so press one for front view so go to this add mesh select the circle here press s and increase the scaling r x 90 to rotate it and let's place this circle at this point here okay so after that let's add an empty so again go to this add come to this empty and let me add this arrows so let me increase the scaling and this also we need to place at the position of this circle okay so here in order to work this hinge properly we need to set this z axis to this direction so we need to have this z axis in this direction so make this or consider this as a door hinge okay so for that let's rotate this one so press 3 for side view and let me rotate this here so this will be fine so make sure we got this z axis in this direction so after that let me select this circle and add rigid body property for this circle also so add rigid body so type let it be active but here uncheck this dynamic option so don't want this dynamic so let us select this empty click on this rigid body constraint type change it to hinge okay make sure to change this to hinge after that in this first object we need to select the hammer and second object we need to select the circuit so first should be this hammer and second should be the circuit okay so now if i play this this acts as a hinge here so here i want this to be exact like this so let's add some weight onto this hammer so select the hammer come to this property here i will increase the weight to 5 kg and let's say this once again now you can see we got our desired effect so here all the pieces will be having the same weight so if i select this piece it is 1 kg and if i select this another piece also it is 1 kg so let's make these pieces have different weights so let me hide out this plane first select all the pieces here go to this object rigid body and click on this calculate mass option let me select this glass okay so now we will have different weights here so if i select this piece it is 3393 kg it's 6000 change so i think we need to increase the weight of this hammer also so select the hammer and i will change this to 7000 okay so now let's see this impact once again okay so now this is looking good so once you are happy with the simulation let me bring back this plane select any of the piece here come to this properties scene properties rigid body world so come to this cast option so here we need to set this start and end simulation so here i want the simulation so here i think i need to have the end frame to be different because here this piece is having some motion here you can see that okay so i will change this to let me have like 220 frames okay so after that click on this bake option so here you can see our bake is done and we got our simulation here but here we can see this cracks visible on this cat model so let's fix that one so for that we'll be using the actual model so let's bring back our cat model and now apply solidify modifier onto this actual cat model so select that model come to this modifier options add modifier add solidify modifier and let me increase the thickness to minus 0 0.001 so now you can see we got rid of that visible cracks so we need to move forward in timeline where the impact actually happens so at this frame you can see the impact is happening so move one frame backward add a keyframe for this visibility of this render or else you can come to these object properties scroll down come to this visibility option add a keyframe for this viewport and render here make sure to add a keyframe here and move one frame forward after that uncheck this viewport and renders and add a keyframe so now till that frame we will have that cat model visible and after this frame the cat model will not be visible in the viewport so let me show you so now we can see the cracks are not visible so as soon as the hits we will see the cracks nice so in this way we can hide out these cracks in cell fracture so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me 
So we'll meet in the next video. Until then, signing off. Take care. Bye.